and so I'm, I might not be saying anything much but I'm just just getting things getting these things uh, going doing is um, I'm doing this actually from my Silburn TV page because I need to grow that page actually instead of going from my um, personal page so I'm doing it from the Silburn, um, Silburn TV page and uh, for better Jamaica so do you guys think that we um, from the UK side do you think the UK will ever leave the European Union what's your thoughts about that anyone what do you think will the UK leave the European Union is it stuck there for life? What do you say? I think it could be. What do you say? Do you think you, you don't think it will leave? Is that what you're saying? Tell me, what are you saying? You don't think it will leave? You think, think we're stuck there for life? <laughs> Wow, that's a total indictment, you know. If you think that we're stuck there for life, man. Paulie Prendergast, good evening. Welcome to the late one with yours truly. Let me see. Share. Hmm. It's very interesting. Ah. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the late one with yourself, Silver and Sidiel. And um, I'm just trying to do some sort of domestic thing here while, while you know, having some sort of glitches here. Um, my topic tonight, as you can see, is about Canoes and he's going to Jamaica and uh, doing this thing called the Sunday service, um, where he just gets down, you know. Canoes has declared that he has given his life to Jesus, to Christ, and um, and that is his um, what should I say? That is his story, that is his testimony and uh, many people somewhat find that very hard to believe so he's been as well a very controversial person at all times very controversial um, but he maintained that position and by maintaining that position he also gets a lot of um he gets a lot of lots of attack on that you know to to do to do to do share on a page you manage Lyndon Wizard, how are you? How is um your uh 
how is the black history month how is that going hope you're going well all right i'm just getting some good glitches here tell me more about it and um what's what's your next latest event that you will be doing um inspirational stuff talking about black history that that would be great yeah um please ladies and gentlemen just share this page as you can share this video that would be great that would be awesome and that would be fantastic it's a beautiful sunday evening the 20th of the 10th and um in london uk okay well listen i just want to give a quick update in regards to boris johnson boris johnson said he wasn't going to he's going to go in the ditch if he ever signed any letter and send a letter to the european union for any extension if you've been following me regarding brexit i always keep an update with brexit and uh so what the prime minister did um he just sent a letter he sent a letter of the ben the ben um act and he just sent a letter to the to the uh european union to say listen guys um i've been told that i need to do this and um here's my thoughts i don't think it is wise to extend it but guess what ladies and gentlemen there's an extension which is up to i think february i think february 28th the eu has extended it to february 28th so anybody's talking about the prime minister going to jail because of um not actually adhering to the ben act um that's not going to happen because he actually they got the extension so far and hopefully he goes tomorrow to parliament to see if he can um pass this um deal um so it's a big drama in the uk but hey one has got to move away from the uk sometime and tap into other things so where i'm going now i'm taking sail over into my land of my birth which is jamaica yeah and that is very very crucial because i'm going to talk about this guy which guy is called his name is Kanye West, yeah. <clears throat> Kanye West is his name. So, ladies and gentlemen, what has happened is that Kanye West recently gave his life to the Lord. Many people don't believe that. Many people believe that it's a farce. Many believe that he's got an agenda. But I always say you must have an agenda. Everybody must have an agenda. I always say if you don't have an agenda, somebody's gonna have an agenda for you. So, um, so Kanye West um, gave his life to the Lord, and he created this whole concept, which is called uh, Sunday service. And the Sunday service can be any day of the week. It's just called Sunday service. He's even trying to brand it, um, copyright it, and patent it, but that didn't work. You know, kind of was a businessman. Um, kind of was a genius. Um, he, he has, a, I think, he, he had some mental health breakdown and um, I think bipolar. So he's going through some some really tested times since his mother died. But one cannot deny the fact that he's a genius. And um, sometimes there's a thin line between a genius and a madness, you know. Um, Einstein and all those guys, you know, those crazy persons. But somehow there's this genius nature within them. So because he has given his life to the Lord that he claims, and who am I? And anyone to say he's not genuine. But of course, there are many persons who are on the board of Jesus Christ. And many people are, have a toll road that leads to heaven. So anything that happens has got to go through them. So many people believe that he's not. My, my position is that I don't know and I leave that to the Lord you know many people say how genuine he is I said how genuine you are how genuine I am really to a certain extent to really pass um, blame but one of the the, the the thing which I believe has hurt lots of people and which is fair is when he made the outburst say that slavery was a choice and nobody agreed with that i didn't agree with that because slavery wasn't a choice because people were actually taken away from the their land of their birth africa go across it the, the the transatlantic slavery and they were beaten hung drawn quartered raped abused and sodomized and all those sort of things people were cramped in um in you know ship on on the section there and it wasn't good it wasn't a choice it was like somebody was saying that the White House and Buckingham Palace was built by black people. And I put the question, was they, did they do it freely? Or did they do it on the duress? Or did they do it on a whip and on the chains? And, and all those sort of things. So therefore, it wasn't something which was by choice. Let's, so let's, let's get that clear. It wasn't something by choice. And after 
that outburst was made and lots of vitriol, lots of hat cream, TI and all those guys. As a matter of fact, I must say TI and those guys are now coming back around to Kanye West because they even recently in a church they went to support him as well, you know, as he's getting back around. So the, the brotherly love is coming back around with Kanye West because he's been around for a while. Um, I am a person who used to rap and I break dance and all those sort of things back home in Jamaica, you know. Uh, follow Kanye West. Um, love some of his commercials. Um, I, I don't know if you know the one, well, not his commercial, but songs that he's using his commercial. One of my greatest uh, commercial is like Jada. Jada is with uh, Charlize Theron. But what I like about it was the music. It was that music, flashing light, flashing light, you know, flashing light, you know, you know. And I didn't know the music, and I searched the music, and I read it was Kanye West that did that song, you know, Jesus Walk, you know, and and all those tunes which which Kanye West um did, you know, and uh, the devil is riding on the back of this man, beware. <laughs> there, there. Somebody said the devil is riding on the back of the man is beware, and it's very interesting that oh someone said the devil is riding on the back of this man, beware. And, and someone said to me, is it that Jamaicans are scared that the devil is going to jump out at them, whereby they fear Kanye West so much? Um, the, the, the Bible scripture that says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So the question is, why do Jamaicans really fear Kanye West? Why do they fear about the devil? Everybody's talking about he's being the devil and the Illuminati. So what is this fear? And... And, and it is so very interesting as I listen and and that's why I said I had to come on and say this because I, I read so many things, you know, you know, especially Christians, you know, really giving this guy such a hard time, you know. And and I and tonight I said to myself, I want to listen to this concert in its entirety. And I, I found a, a YouTube video, um, Canada West Sunday Service, Kingston, Jamaica, and uh, I, I listened to it all night. I mean this evening you know and ladies and gentlemen all I can say it was beautiful okay it was it was beautiful and it was lovely okay and I'll play a bit of it I'll play a bit of it now hope I don't wake the children I love gospel. <coughs> what is so beautiful is so many young people really just enjoying themselves. You see, they join their face, they're happy. And of course, people will say the road that leads to hell is paved with gold or whatever like that. But who cares? I mean, you can see the joy, you see the amount of young people in the audience there. I got a couple of friends which I saw in the audience as well. You know, Babsy Grange was there, Spice was there, some other artists was there, really just having a good time. Um, Ken West came there and what he did, he said uh, he paid, a, a, I think they said a million dollars, pounds, whatever, million dollars. I don't know what that was for or what that was the cost of him actually coming there or somehow it was the cost of the, the the equipments and all those sort of things because of course as a result of him coming he also paid and of course you know there was opportunity for jamaicans as well yeah so just listen to this for a second let's hope that youtube don't block me or anything or facebook i love this so much i love gospel You see, my thing is this, is it that black people hate each other? Is it that black people find it difficult to support another black person? Let me just stop there. Is it that black people find it hard to support one another? Is it that black people find it hard to build up one another, right? Why can't Canaways come to Jamaica and have a good time in Jamaica? The Chinese do it. Well, actually, they rape Jamaica, as many people would say. The Spanish do it. They come and um, they have a good time in Jamaica, you know? And they actually give a hard time. I heard that they, they pay is terrible at the, at the hotels. And uh, Canada was just come through for one day. And the, the vitriol 
that I've been seeing towards this gentleman. You know, the the hate and you know, people can do make mistakes by what they say. I have made mistakes by what I've said. You who are listening to me have made mistakes by what you have said at some point in your life. Of course, Ken West now he has this massive following and he's got this massive influence. So by him saying that time and, and it seemed to me that has been one of the bone of contention for many persons is that slavery was a choice. And and I, and I saw when Kim Kardashian, his wife, was trying to somewhat explain it after a while to say that, you know, he, 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 that's not what he was really saying, you know. Um, he was saying for something or the mentality of persons to continue like that, that must be a choice. That is after the physical fact, after the whole aspect of, of slavery, you know, for it to still be permeating in person's mind. And then what makes it a bit very difficult for persons to somewhat accept him again is because of his association with Bing, Donald Trump. Okay, so because he assaulted with Donald Trump when he hugged him and said, "I love this man," you know, you know, it, it's it's like when I, when I look at Kanye West, sometimes I see he's like a, a baby, you know. And when I say a baby, he's like someone born again, someone get a new zest of life. It's like he's got a new lease on life. I mean, the guy was going down big time, but but for now to see what he, you 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 have picked up, I guess you have picked up that I'm supporting him. Um, but it is not that I'm supporting everything that he does and every word that he speaks. What I'm supporting is an individual who I find it difficult to put down, but an individual which I find it much better to build up. Yeah, that is my perspective on it. I find it much better to build him up than to tear him down. Because, ladies and gentlemen, you know, there was a man who was next to Jesus Christ on the cross, right? And he was a thief, right? And the guy said, can't you save yourself or something like that? And, and, and he said, save me. And Jesus said to him, you will be with me in paradise, right? So the guy confesses sins and he's with him in Christ. Now, I, I'll be shocked. I guess many people will be shocked when they go to heaven and they see that thief there and say, how can he be there? Or maybe someone in hell, that is if you believe in heaven and hell, will look up and say, hey, what is Barabbas, no, whatever his name is, what is Jacko, Jacko of the Helium tribe or whatever like that, who stole and was a robber or a murderer or whatever, how is he there? And then you've got this guy named Saul, Saul who was a persecutor and the killer of the saints, of, of, of Christians. And Jesus saved him, he says it's hard to kick against the pricks and change his name to Paul. You know, these are crazy people. But at the same time, God saved them. God also says he can use a donkey. So, uh, so I'm trying, to, this is just me trying to understand why is there that hate? Why is there that unforgiveness? And why is there also that Christians are believing that they, because I was reading one guy, one pastor, also was saying, I do not know him. You know, I need to check him out first. <laughs> and people are saying, hang on a second. We didn't know that you're on the board of Christ that determines who gets into the kingdom because you don't know them. You know, think about those things for a second. You know, so so you know, th there's there's some other things in the future, like about him using the um, after the event, after the fact, he was using some coat of arms and, and things like that. That is another bit which I'll touch on a bit later. But I, I find it very, very, very interesting as how this thing has turned up because, you know, everybody that I've spoken to who have actually attended that event really enjoyed it. Now, that doesn't mean to say that just because you enjoy something is good. But why not give the guy a break? So, Canada's Sunday service came, you know, um, you know, so I was looking at the vitriol, the hate. So one, I said, because he said slavery was a choice and many people find it unforgivable, right? Is it also there's a level of jealousy against a successful black man, right? I'm just putting that out there because we've got to confront ourselves. Because as I said, someone just said here, I know this respect, um, Lugo Francis said, the devil is riding on the back of this man, beware. The devil is riding on, now let's break that down. The devil don't need to ride on anyone's back. <laughs> Let's break that down right there. The devil don't have to ride on anyone's back, right? You know, 
You see, he without sin, they say, cast the first stone. And what I've picked up is that there's so many people so righteous. And we call it the self-righteous. They're like the Sadducees, the Pharisees, as they say in the Bible. Why this ritual against this guy? Is it also politics? Yeah. And let's break it down because Jamaica is a very um, uh, political, tribalistic nature when it comes on to politics. Whereby, if the JLP on the certain on the JLP watch that something happens, those from the PNP camp would not find it good to su su support. So therefore, Babsy Grange was right in the mix, and she has been fronting it in the sense that um, they came and they approach and they use this national park, Emancipation Park, because that is crucial. It's Emancipation Park. Not just any part. This is Emancipation Park. And to use that, there must be some sort of government involvement. It, it, it went even further, whereby, whereby, and why say, why say <laughs> politics? Because I'm just not, not, I'm just reading and I'm just saying certain things, you know. Um, th this is, this is a bit here, um, which I found interesting because I, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not even using my words. I'm using person's words so Babsy Grange is JLP and because of that is it because she's JLP and um, it's part of that so the persons on the the PMP side would not support in that now Faye Ellington which some say is according to some posts there she put out a tweet said, who are the local organizers of the Canic Emancipation Park concert was permit permission sought from the relevant ministries department agencies JCF RGR 94.9 FM leads to at 5, so just little or no planning. Imagine New Kingston and environs tomorrow because it was Friday the event took place, so this was apparently Thursday. So somebody says, some people struggle and have a very difficult time hiding their natural tendencies to be bad-minded. I think Faye thought government money was involved and she's no longer in a position to be the one who's handling it. So she ball out for Wolf. Sometimes crowd for Wolf can construed be a confession for past actions, Phantom. Right. So that is just someone putting that out there because of the ritual or because of the sort of term and things coming through. And and um, and, and and it's very interesting. Um, let me hear what uh, 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 Petula said. Um, you know, but at the same time, while I'm talking about the negative aspect, there has been um, very, very positive um, things which, which, which come true as well. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Sort of term uh, and things coming through. Okay, here we are. Good evening. You know Christians need to be less judgmental. Some black people are so used to being negative. He made an ignorant comment. And you're right. And that's what I'll say. That's why I, at that time... It was an ignorant comment because sometimes, you know, people can sometimes try to convey something, but they don't have the articulation I was able to get it across. I'm not justifying, I'm not defending him at all. But even if he made a wrong statement and, a, and made an error, even if he meant it at that time, and because there was a guy that went and had a go at him at TMZ, TMZ. And and kind of say, listen, I'm I'm sorry, brother, and, and hug him and say, listen, I'm sorry for people that I've hurt. And his wife trying to sort of maybe went home that night and uh, spoke to her, and uh, she came out and tried to just try to sort of um, clarify what he was actually saying. Why can't he get that break? Why can't? Why that one thing goes against him for the rest of his life? Can you imagine if Jesus was going to hold everything against us? For the rest of our life when each and every day we fail each and every day someone fail each and every day you fail everybody i fail married person not married person fail 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 because guess what he without sin cast the first stone come on jamaica man come on think about what you're doing and guess what this is even an opportunity to 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 free promotion just like when dj khalid went to jamaica and was eating him him, him, um, him, Yaman, him, all of, I forget what him say, Yardman style, Yardman style, and he, and he gave, and at the same time, people were even still having a go at him, you know, the guy was just having fun, I said, Yardman style, banana, Yardman style, and when he did the porridge thing, or whatever like that, he said, like, whoa, we don't do those things, DJ Khaled, people were having a go at him, well, hey, the guy was just having some fun, come on, man, let's chill, Petula said, some bad people are so used to being negative, 
um, he made an ignorant comment and it was taken out of context. Unfortunately, the world messed him up. He made some bad choices. But Christians should know better that if God can forgive a man, why can't they? Maybe they are not true Christians. That's a good question. And of course, as you said, they are not true Christians, Christians, but we will have to take the position, like what we are talking about, who are we to judge them as well? Who am I to judge anyone that is actually criticizing them? To say, are they Christians or not? Not for me. I just want to be able to, to build and to empower each person, right? So God can forgive. So we are told, test the spirit and check out the fruit. By the way, his song, Beautiful Morning is awesome. Thank you. You know, so, you know, yes, test the spirit. That is correct. Test the spirit. But while you're testing the spirit, test yourself. <laughs> yeah. While you're digging out the, the speck out of somebody, eye, there's a big plank in your eye. I'm just, I'm just dropping it in a Jamaican style, but um, in scriptures, you know. So, so all this vitriol, all this vitriol against this young man who is actually a successful black man. All this vitriol against this man who, if you look in the audience and you look at it, the team of person that he has, he, I don't think they're actually volunteering their life, volunteering their services for free. They are paid. He's paying them. The majority of them, 99% of them are black people. And he's empowering Right, I see him and his, ch his children. I watch it. I, I, I follow the Sunday service. I love the music. I, you know, a, a friend of mine and I put the post up the other day. Friend, listen, I had a gospel group one time years ago. New concept when I, I at Kensington Temple, and uh, and 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 the, so, so a friend of mine, Mercy, she contacted me and said, "Wow, I heard when he was singing G in one of those songs, and I said it sounded like us, the the, the, the style which I was trying to get, you know, and um, and and what was very interesting about it." is that she said it reminded her of me and the time when we were trying to create this music. I was trying to be like this Kirk Franklin thing. You listen, guy, I used to be a rapper. I used to be a break dancer, you know I mean? Beatbox, getting into gospel singing and you know, leading a gospel group at church and all those sort of things, you know? I, I believe in, in living life. And you, you cannot live life if you've got bitterness in you. And, and don't get me wrong, everybody has some level of bitterness, but we've got to somehow learn to help and build people. There's a saying that says something, if you're not nothing, if you say shut up. If you can't empower somebody or build up somebody, what's the sense of tearing them down? What's the sense of all this vitriol against a young, successful black man who will benefit more from positive words? Because as Christians, I challenge you, you know that words build. Words, words, you say, it cuts like a knife, you know? There's a scripture that talks about words in settings of silver words words are powerful they say even the spirit of the lord operates on the word of the lord so therefore the word has got to marry the spirit so i find it very interesting that christians or those who profess themselves as christian people that i know personally as well find it very difficult to pray for the guy find it very difficult to build up the guy find it very difficult to pray for his family Instead of saying the devil are right upon him back. Instead of saying that he's a devil incarnate. What sort of foolish is that? How can there be a devil incarnate or something like that? The devil don't need no help. Do you guys not know that? The devil don't need any help. <laughs> you know? It's all this sort of stupidness. Come on, guys. Jamaica, man. Line up, man. Come on. We need to build each other. We need to help. And, you know, you know, is it jealousy? Is it hate? Is it, is it that we don't like to see our people succeed? But you're building the Chinese... Right now, even with the cockpit country, some are fighting for the, the, the mining, some are fighting for not the mining, making other persons successful. Chinese own most of Jamaica. What, what, what you guys should be doing, if anything, is to stand up on those toll roads and say, no more, Chinese get out of the country or whatever like that. That's what you should be, not against a successful black man who made a mistake by misspeaking or misspoke. One who came through the ranks of slavery, you know, one who is actually gone through the ranks and made himself successfully self-made. It wasn't handed down to him. It wasn't handed down to him. He was successful. He's like the Jay-Z, the Beyonce. But he had his struggles. He had difficulty in his life. And he saw a pathway 
where God is helping him and he's holding on to God. You can see that he's struggling. You can see that the music that he's saying, you can hear the music from the past and he brings it into the gospel thing. And he, he So therefore, it's at a cutting edge. Now, some churches do not like when you mix um, gospel music with um, with world music in the sense they say world music you know because I did a rap one time I did a, a gospel song and it says like um, jump in the river the river the river of life jump in the river the well will never run dry and the song started like well Jesus Christ was at Jacob's well one hot and thirsty day and a woman came up to him and I said for sure she lost her way you know the time when the woman was at the well and she said and Jesus said yeah you got many husbands but none of them you actually my pastor preached about that today ladies and gentlemen you know and and it was on that tune about all night long it was on that tune that I use it all night long you know similar to someone that Kanye West was doing now a seasoned Christian or something like that an old Christian who's in the gospel thing may not able to connect with that but that doesn't mean to say just because they can't connect, God cannot use another person to connect with another person. Right? Maybe that person in that church, when they want to get young people in, they cannot connect to the, the older folks, but they can connect to a younger person. Think about that for a second. So God is using that man. And I stand in support 100% in building and empowering and supporting and praying for Canoes, not accepting some of the things. Now let's let's go further and and see another thing which which has which has happened, which was somewhat disturbing, because because of the level of scrutiny that um, the the government had, Babs Grange had, um, there was the issue about that Canoes actually started to sell some of the T-shirts with um, the coat of arms on it. So it says, as concerns mounted throughout yesterday over American rapper Ken West, Sunday service choir, in proper use of Jamaican national symbols and emblems on April, being shown on his website, the minister Ol Olivia Grange last night said she had demanded that the items be removed. Grange addressed the matter in a late evening statement, but subsequent checks of the Sunday service website revealed that while items bearing the national flag had been removed, some showing the coat of arms remained. I noticed Canaways and members of choir were similar wearing emblazoned items during the special performance in Kingston last night, but I was not aware at the time that the costumes were being sold online. We never received requests, nor did we give permission for national symbols and emblems to be used for commercial manner. I have since requested that the items be removed and the vendor has agreed to do so. So why? Right, so Canaways went ahead, happy and go lucky, let's get this going. Jamaica might be love it, happy. Um, did his t-shirts for the promotion. It was wrong. The, the minister asked him to remove it, and he has removed it. Okay. So therefore, what do we want now? We want blood. <laughs> so therefore, many people are now using that as a symbol and say, "See, I told you. I told you that's what's going to happen. I told you is a devil riding on the back of this man." Yeah. And then other persons are actually saying. I think Crawford, Damien Crawford, was saying, "Hang on a second. Didn't we miss a trick?" Didn't we miss a trick? The guy has 26 million followers on his Twitter account. Free publicity for Jamaica. Just like when DJ Khalid was there. The Jamaican government jumped on it. Free. Now that is what the government should be. Riding on the back of Khalid, of, of, the, of, of Canwes. Riding on that back. Not the devil. The government ended battle. Riding on the back of Canwes, man. Free publicity. You know, and and it even went it went even further where where persons now started to call out um, the hypocrisy or hypocrisy, yeah, hypocrisy. Yes, let me use the right word, hypocrisy. People started to call out the the hypocrisy of the government. People started to say like when you have carnival, and I know that as a fact. When you have carnival in the UK. Many people print t-shirts and they sell this and they sell that with Jamaica, that coat of arms and everything, and they profit over it. Somebody said in Miami or wherever in the world, when they have Jamaican carnival, people are just creating their thing. Nobody stopped them. But of course, as the saying will go, dropping over frightened. Yes? Canoes is a devil. So therefore, let's let's get hold of Canoes. Let's shut him down. Okay? So that's the thing. So 
one person here, Maxine Bissell JP. This is what she said. Our people are so two-sided. Every craft member that sells craft items have at least 10 times for sale with all the national symbols, state the coat of arms, flag, etc. Who gave the permission or is it okay since it's the little man making the money? Somebody answered and I said, well, they are Jamaicans. So if they are Jamaicans and they can do it, then that means to say you don't need the permission. So that's the sort of conflict or that sort of difference there. For those talking, have you ever been to a New York carnival each year? She said, one would be amazed. Yet you get $1 million up front and all hell broke loose. Because Ken West is not begging anything. He's not asking for anything. He's just on this quest. I think he's going to go wherever he's going to travel the world. He's just having a fun time. You know, it's so important. Even, even in life, ladies and gentlemen, in life, it's always good. And you will be successful in doing the things that you love and enjoy. And he's doing something that he loves and enjoys. He's finding a new love, according to him, in Christ Jesus. And you listen to the songs, you listen to the songs, you listen to the praise and worship, and it is, I must say, beautiful. Right? It is, I must say, awesome. And and just to let you get a sneak, let me just let you hear a sneak again. Even my daughter and I was, was jamming to this earlier tonight. I saw some couple of uh, a friend of mine and I said he said he was at the Pegasus or one, or one of the hotels and he heard the music and he popped across there and, I, and tonight I, I, I sent him a picture because I saw his two daughters there as well having a good time just really enjoying it you know I saw Spice there really enjoying it Spice who love Cospado and everything like that was it and it's skin out business she was there enjoying herself with her children come on man Hey guys, I think the trick is this man. We got to learn this trick, you know. And 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 before I go there, let's let's just go back to what um, Maxine Blesser said. And she went further by saying, "I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Although we're so about sensationalism rather than the true spirit of our heritage and culture. China printing and selling the most Jamaican items on earth. Am I right or am I wrong? Come on, guys, you know the answer. To that even have a patent. Have we ever cared?" I hate this double standard and continuous love for a country only when it matters either for political or self-serve reason. Hate it, that's what she said. I hope to get her on the show one day. I must say, Mr. West, a good businessman. I may take my hat off to that nice tune. Yeah, he's a good businessman, man. Let's, let's, listen, listen. Elv, listen. It doesn't take too much to, to look at the good in the man and to build up that good. There's a word which I, 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 I created this concept called the black element. And I, and, I, and I use this black element whereby my political affiliation is a conservative in the UK. Many black people do not like that, right? But at the same time, they recognize of who Silburn is because I'm in tune and in touch with my people at the same time. And I know why I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm called for a particular journey. Each one of us are called for a particular journey. You can't walk my path. I can't walk your path because I do not have the anointing or the gifting to walk in someone else's path. I've got the gifting and the ability and the empowerment to walk on my path. So therefore, don't have a go at me for my decision. What? And I shouldn't have a go at another person for their decision, but to somewhat see how we can empower and build them. So the black element is this. This is a concept. Hey, Christine, how are you? The black element is this. Find a common ground. Find a common denominator and build on that. Build on that. That is why you have things which is called the, um, the black caucus, you know, uh, cross party. 
Jewish um, parliamentary, cross-party Asian, cross-party Caribbean, whereby you find a common ground whereby we are black, we're Asian, you know, we, we, we are Jewish. So therefore, even though we have political ideology, labor, conservative, Republican or Democrat, but we can find a ground with how can we help our home? A common ground like with Jamaicans, when they come on to diaspora, how can we build Jamaica or help Jamaica if there's a disaster, there's a hurricane? It doesn't matter what political affiliation you are, you, fall, you, you, you rally around the flag. As I say, rally around the flag, rally around the heights, gold, black and green, as I go, somebody can, can, and, um, can, can share that with me, if anything. You know, and 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 uh, let me see. This gentleman is on the wrong thing, man. I need to get him on the right one, <laughs> Mr. Winston um, Davis. Yeah. Um, so 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 the thing the, the the thing about it is that find a way how find a way how that one can find a way how one can somehow help and empower one another even to find some sort of uh what should i so, say so, uh, so, let so me say even to find some sort of um style from can West and use those style and learn from it as well because guess what the guy's a businessman whether we like it or not the guy's a businessman and i will forever support can West when he's on the right path and when he's doing what he's doing as much as possible you know and 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 i would encourage persons to do so as well and try not to make it look as if we are we are so hang up right so hang up on actually tearing each other down because that's what it looks like 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 whether you like it or not that's what it looks like on the side black people tearing down black people right and it's not a pretty thing we should find a way how to build someone, right? And the devil now right upon the man back. The devil don't need nobody back for right upon. You guys should know that from now. Anybody who said that don't know nothing about Christ. <laughs> he said devil right upon the man back. No disrespect, um, Francis. I'm just just using that. You're not the only one who say that. You know, so don't take it personal. It, a lot of people are saying some 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 stupidness that I've never heard of in my life. You know, but I want I want to finish off with um what Miss. What what's her name said there? Uh, if if I can find her, her comments again, when she when she talk about the hypocrisy, try to find a word, you know, get getting my 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 diction correct. The the, the hypocrisy. Um, let me go back for my pen. P.S. All the patriotic angels that have been patrolling our symbols and logos, please tell me why I can't find T-shirts and other garments online from as early as 1995, and they are still out there for sale. Why the conversation and the loyalty wasn't spotted before all these brand patrols who love Jamaica so much is yet to launch a campaign to take them all down. None owned by the country and neither is the returns coming. Where are you officers? Can you report to duty? These items are not for Mr. West. And he prepaid. Can you now show me your loyalty and not your political clothing? Please remember part of your job description is to ensure the COA and national symbols are not on any garment. I have attached one link to make your job a little easier. And finally, Jamaica, not Mr. West, did not make a dime when these photos are attached. Hypocrites. Now, she posted this link. And ladies and gentlemen, this link is awesome. Right? On that link, it says something about redouble. Let me just post it here. I'll post it there. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is serious. Right? And you are seeing so many closes with coat of arms um, being sold. Right, she let posted me, this link and let, let me see. This, uh, this is the link. I, I just posted the link there. The link is there. Have check it out for yourself. Click on it. But in the link, Jamaica coat of arms t shirt, Jamaican flag t shirt 1617, Jamaica coat of arms 15 pounds 85, right? Coat of arms Jamaica 1827, right? Jamaica land we love 20 pounds. Wow, Jamaica coat of arms get 10% off. I don't know whose site this is. Ladies and gentlemen, they're selling these things all over, man. All over. All over. So what I'm trying to say? So so I think the point I'm just trying to coming down at the conclusion is we, we've got to be very careful. We've got to be very careful how we go about things. And we've got to be careful how we 
we, we tear down individuals who are trying to live their life. Uh, because the same way how you met out criticism to others is the same way come back. See time harvest time. What you sow, you reap. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Silburn Sidil and I approve this message. And I hope you um, watch the link. I'm going to put the link as well, the link which I've been following. And um, have a listen before I go. I love this one. I just keep, I'm just putting this on repeat. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have a good evening and um, enjoy the rest of the Sunday. And um, I'm posting this link. You can listen to it. There you are. Have a good one. Have a wonderful evening. And um, for those on Instagram, go on to the Silver and Show. Yeah. Go on to the YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going to put this up on YouTube as well. And uh, and you can watch the full Sunday service. Take care. Watch it. Enjoy it. Check for yourself. And have a wonderful week. Be blessed. May God bless you and truly bless you. And build your life. And um, empower you. That your dreams may come alive. That your visions may prosper. That we have success, financial blessings, everything which is good for you. Everything which is good for you. Okay? And that's my word. And that's what I want you to speak over Canada's life as well. May you all be blessed and have a good night. Peace out. Silburn. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.